My name's Griffin, and I live in this SUV. My favorite way to explore is by looking for rocks. Today I'm taking you way out to the middle of nowhere in southeastern Oregon, and we're going to look for these. And we are going to be looking for some sunstones out here. Uh, the weather is pretty cold. It's about 35 degrees, and it's been snowing the past few nights. So I haven't seen any other videos of people doing this out here in the snow, so we'll see how it goes. I'm about to throw in a few layers, and we're going to get ourselves out there. All right, should be warm enough. There's going to be some wind noise coming up, but it dies down and the stones get bigger the further I go. Well, this is definitely one of the more remote places I've ever been in my life. There is absolutely nothing out here. There's mountains around me and I pretty much described this place as tundra. In videos, people said it's about 90 degrees out here in the summer and the sun is pretty much beating down on you the whole time. So I don't know how much success I'm going to have finding sunstones without the sun but the fact that it did just rain a whole bunch and have all this snow come through uh, may have turned over some new ground. About half the ground was covered in this snow, but there was so much land here that it really wasn't a concern. You just kind of look in the parts without it. So I think I found a couple already. These right here are what I was seeing other people pick up in the videos, and I believe that is a sunstone. They kind of have this weird yellowish orange color to them. Here's a couple more. These I think are just little bits and pieces. This one's a more round stone. I don't quite know what I'm looking for, but this is what I found so far. There's lots of loose little bits and pieces like these two right here. I don't even really keep these ones anymore. I'm realizing these are very tiny, but there are some that are a little bit bigger like these, which I'm still picking up. So we'll toss these ones on back and keep bigger ones like this. Here's a bigger one that's pretty clear. Has some decent color to it. It's two of the biggest ones that I've spotted so far. This one right here, it's about the size of a dime. And some other pieces that are kind of comparable in size. It's kind of tricky because it just snowed. Some of these real long and flat ones kind of look like ice when you first look at them. Here's a pretty orange one right here. They have all sorts of different colors and tones to them. This one's probably the largest one I've found so far. The things that give a sunstone value are larger size, more intense colors, or high clarity. There's just so many of these little tiny ones. Here's a couple of interesting ones. This one's pretty tiny, but it's got kind of a, a pink shimmer to it. And then this one's a decent sized one right here. As hard as I tried to leave the small ones in the ground, it was tempting to pick up every single one. Here's an okay one. Well, so far I'm not finding anything huge. The biggest one I found is about, well, two of them about the size of a quarter. There's a couple more down by my feet right now that I want to show you. It's kind of hard to talk. My lips are getting numb. Been out here for about 45 minutes. It was time to head back to the car, warm up, and try a new spot. We're at the second spot now. We are just heading in. I'm not even going to pick up anything that's real tiny. I'm going to try to cover more ground and hopefully find something a little bigger. So this one's just a pretty big one. Um, nothing too special about it. It's like the size of a nickel. And then this one over here is kind of cool. Definitely the most colorful one I've seen so far. Here's another pretty big one. Okay, I lied. It's tiny. It's just a big chunk of one though. Kind of like a cube. I haven't touched them yet, but these ones here look pretty decent. There's a group of them. There's this one, this one, this big one sitting right on the top here, and then I'm not sure how big this one is. It's kind of lodged in the ground. All right, cleaning it with snow didn't work, but yeah, that was a pretty big one right there. I'm in a pretty good spot right now. They're getting bigger and bigger, and the colors are getting more interesting. Here's another good one. Very clear. If you're still watching and enjoying, leave a like to help the channel grow. At the end, I'll have some information about this location and how you can get here. Here's one. It looks like it's pretty thin. And then this other one right here. Also tiny, but really colorful compared to some of the other ones I've found. Here's one that's got some decent color to it. 
not that one, this one. I'm trying to watch through my camera screen. All right, this might be the best one that I've stumbled across so far today. It's right by my feet. Uh, it looks like it's pretty clear, like almost like glass. It's probably about a little bigger than the size of a quarter, maybe a half dollar. I'll reach down and show you. I haven't pulled it out yet, but here it is. It's got a big, deep, dark color to it also, actually. It doesn't exactly look like many of the others. It almost has little black inclusions in it. That one ended up being the biggest one that I could find all day. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me out here. I found some pretty cool stuff. Didn't exactly know if I was gonna find anything out here, so the fact that I found some that are a little bigger than a quarter and kind of have at least something to look at is pretty cool. Um, I'm sure you can find much bigger if you know exactly what you're doing and if you've been here before or even come back in the summer when the sun is here to help you find the sunstones and half the ground isn't covered by snow. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. You kind of just pull over to anywhere along the side of the road and start to either dig by hand, which I didn't do any digging, the ground was too hard, or um, just go ahead and you can find them right along the surface. They're pretty much infinite in here. If you come on out here to the high desert of Oregon, have fun, make sure you don't lose sight of your car, bring plenty of water, and if you're out here in the summer, definitely I would assume this is a place where you're gonna want sunscreen. So let me show you what we found today. We'll go over what we all found for the day while I give the information on how to get here if you're looking to come out for yourself. The specific location is called the Sunstone Public Collection Area, and it's on Bureau of Land Management, or BLM land. It's right above where Nevada, California, and Oregon all meet. You could probably make it out there with a car, but I'd recommend a vehicle with at least all-wheel drive if you're looking to go deep within the collection area. The area itself is near the Alverd Desert, which is actually the most remote part of the lower 48 states. If you made it all the way to the end, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Join me on my last adventure here, or click subscribe if you want to see what I'm up to next. Thanks.